Hello, it's Cress, aka Lady Taka, and it is time for this Munch Swift Store Rummage Cell Finds video. And it's going to be a short one, and we're testing my new computer's video camera out. So far, I'm not too impressed. It looks fuzzy, but we'll see when I review the actual video. So the first thing I found was actually something my friend Bobby told me he had gotten, and I found it like two weeks later at the thrift store. Um, it's a Jaws music shirt where it actually plays the theme. Da, 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 da. Figured if nothing else, I could wear it on Shark Day. And then I got a tie. I know I don't wear ties often. I did wear one on stage. Um, but I couldn't resist because not only does it have crescent moons on it, it's got Looney Tune characters on it. And not just Looney Tune characters, but Looney Tune characters dressed up as things. So you've got Tweety as a ghost, Taz as the devil, Sylvester. Oh, Bugs is just screaming. Sylvester is just screaming. Daffy's a mummy. So I thought that was pretty cute. And then on the toy front... I got this little hippo figure, and the reason I got it was it was only 50 cents, and the reason I knew that was a steal was this was being sold at the Museum of Modern Art when Rita and I went to the Brooklyn Art Museum. I actually have a picture of Rita staring at this figure, although in the figure, the detailing is in black on the original figure. They cheaped out a little bit on it. But I think it was like $15, $20 in the store. So I snagged that up. Then with all the Halloween stuff going on sale, I had to rescue this little bat, the brown bat. And at one point he made noise because I can feel a voice box in here. And in actuality, I took it off in the store and he only had one on him. He actually had a speaker on one of his wings and I just knew you couldn't replace the battery or anything. And the really not cool thing is, those eyes, yes, they do glow in the freaking dark. But I like his little fangs and everything. So I had to rescue him. And I've been finding M&Ms this month. This I found for whole 35 cents at uh, St. Vinny's. And it's the female green M&M. I have the yellow one up on display for a few more days for candy day for the monthly display. And I got a red one and I think a zombie one in the last two months. Now this one I've been looking for, I got it from Goodwill. It was 59 cents and I don't think it was the half off color of the week when I got it. But... It's for my advertising collection. It's a curd nerd. Curtis the curd nerd. Curtis. Um, they had him back again this year, and now he has a female partner named Goldie. So maybe I'll find Goldie sometime in the next year. This one's marked 2017, though, so he's from last year, but he's in pretty good clean condition. Unlike the other thing I got from St. Vinny's, he, he needs a little bit of TLC. He's got a bit of fur on him. But I couldn't resist Feathers McGraw from Wallace and Gromit. And he feels like he should be able to stand because he's got these nice paw pads, but he's so wobbly on the balance. But for 50 cents, I decided to rescue him. And then... My big find of the month was at Goodwill, and it was actually in the electronics section for $3.99, and when I peeled it back to its original tag, it was originally $14.99, but then when you went and looked it up, it's from 2005, and it's the collector's item, and it's still in this package. It, like, goes for, like, 50 bucks now, but since I only paid $4 for Mr. Elvis Presley here... I do not have to feel bad when I cut open this package to put him on display. And I love the fact, like, this is from a particular concert 
But it says on the back for the 50th anniversary of Elvis history making recording, he dared to rock. That's all right. July 5th, 1954. My birthday is July 5th. So I thought that was funny. But I mean, it's still a sealed McFarlane toy. And he's supposed to have, he's got a whole stage. And he's got this chair, which he is currently off kilter. His knee's supposed to be over, father. But I will be taking him out of the package and displaying him like the rest of my McFarland toys. But again, only paid four bucks for him when normally the action figures there are $15.20. But apparently because his original price tag was on there, they didn't feel like charging $15 for him because <laughs> it had been like new. But he was actually marked as an appliance and was in the appliance section, which I thought was hilarious that you would regulate Elvis to then. I'm like, I could assume you missed filing him in the music section, but that was my score of November. All right. I will review this video and put it up and we'll, we'll see if it's any worse or better. Hopefully you think it's a newer webcam. Um, then my old, I'm current, I'm filming under the same light conditions I filmed on the last computer, you know, in the same room. So it, you can at least still see me on my stuff, right? <laughs> All right. Bye.